Imagine you're sitting in the sound booth of the theater watching all the green feedback lights glow as each character delivers their lines. Those lights show you that the actors' microphones, or mics as they are called, are on and how loud the actors are talking. Those little lights reassure you that everyone can hear what those actors have worked so hard to produce. Suddenly, a loud pop rings out, followed by scratchy static, and everyone on the technical team is covering their ears and looking at you. Now what do you do? These are your receiver boxes. The first thing you do when you get into the theater is turn them on. It makes sure that the mics have some way to communicate with the soundboard. This is a wireless body mic. Most body mics run on 9 volt or AA batteries. After you've turned on your receiver boxes, you want to make sure that all your mics have fresh batteries. If a battery dies during a show, it's no one's fault but the sound tech. Checking your battery levels are easy since all mics have a battery level indicator and a power switch located directly on the top of the mic pack. Some of the problems you'll encounter as a sound tech can be fixed while you're changing batteries. Sometimes the connection between the cord and the battery pack will come loose. Just grab some gaff tape and tape them together and it should hold for the rest of the show. Now you're ready to use your soundboard. A typical soundboard will look something like this, but all you have to worry about right now are your sliders. Sliders control the volume for a specific mic. One slider for one mic and one mic for one character. What you're going to do now are mic checks. Have a character go down on stage and start speaking into their mics. This way you can hear any problems that you might have and you can spend a couple minutes before the show trying to fix them. Most problems you run into on a mic check can be fixed by adjusting your gains. That's the row of white knobs up at the top. They're a little different than slider volumes because gains control the input while sliders control the speakers. Oftentimes you can eliminate static by turning your gain down and your slider up. But if the static goes out of that mic during a show and your slider's all the way up, get ready for the whole theater to go deaf. Luckily, you shouldn't have to reset gains. Once you find something that works for a specific character, you won't have to mess with it for the rest of the show. The most important thing for a sound tech to have during a show is a script. An experienced tech can run a show without having seen it if they have a script. All you have to do is follow along with what you're hearing and you can see whose lines are next and whose sliders need to be turned up. Simply slide the sliders up for their lines, leave it on when they're on stage, and turn it off when they leave. It's simple, but during the show is when you run into those unavoidable problems that the whole theater can hear. During a show, this is what your board should look like. You should have some sliders up and some of them off. What you want to be watching during the show are these lights. They're your feedback lights. If a light goes too high, past the red zone, it'll max out and you'll get tons of feedback or static. If that happens, what you'll need to do is kill whatever mic is giving you that problem. That's when you drop the slider all the way down to zero. If they're in the middle of the line, just try to drop it a little bit lower and see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, kill the mic and turn up a mic of a character standing next to them. Hopefully, you'll be able to pick up a little bit of the person's line on the other person's mic. This is when your stage crew comes in really handy. The stage manager, as well as the main side stage hands, will all have headsets like this. All you need to do is get on your headset, tell them what mic is having the problem, and how you want them to fix it. Mostly, you want them to check this specific area. Make sure the battery light isn't on, the power switch is on, and maybe throw some more gaff tape on the connection between the pack and the cord. Congratulations on running a successful show. Don't get too down about those problems you may have had. A regular audience member won't notice them as much as you think. And it's not what they'll remember, so don't beat yourself up. Now you're almost done. All you have to do is make sure you've switched off those receiver boxes, turned off your soundboard, and gotten it ready for the next show.